So we're approaching the end of spring here in Guangzhou, and this year, for the very short season, I did something very Cantonese. The Cantonese are known to be foodies, so everything, and of course every season, can be associated with food in many ways. Cotton tree flower, which is the floral emblem of Guangzhou, is planted in many parts of the city. In spring, their orange blossoms add on a vibrant touch to the cityscape, and well, their flowers are also a source of food for many locals. Many of them pick the fallen flowers and bring home to add to their soup. As someone who has lived in Guangzhou for a few years, I decided to try being a local this spring. This is the tree, the common flower tree. So I just finished my gym and I decided to try my last luck with the common tree flowers. Because last week I only managed to pick up what, like four fifth of the flower. And guess what? Look! Oh, I managed to find two full flowers. Uh, there are really like there are only a few flowers left on the tree, and uh, I was and there are not many flowers on the grass patch. So I was well, at first I was thinking, okay, I guess tough luck, but then uh, I managed to find two. And this is really lucky because um, according to the weather report, it's gonna rain starting from tomorrow, and yeah, and today is like the final sunny day before the whole week of rain. Yay! So I can dry two more flowers and maybe cook some soup with the flowers. This was the grass patch. There were not many flowers, especially when compared to the previous week, probably because it's almost the end of the season and there were not many flowers left on the tree in the first place. So it kind of made the flower hunt really easy. This one? Nope. This? Yes. And guess where I found the second one? This was the previous week. There were a lot of rotten flowers because it had been raining for the whole week and I guess people were just not out to pick the flowers and gardeners were not around to clean up. But despite having this entire patch, I only managed to find a handicapped flower. Okay, so I thought maybe we can take a closer look of the flower. It has five petals and this... I forgot what you call this thing here, the inside. Looks like that. And then five petals, and then there's this little bottomy thing here. So pretty! So this was the handicapped flower. As you can see, it only has four petals out of five petals that it's supposed to have. I've never done this before but I read online and this is apparently the steps to take to dry the flowers. To start off, wash them thoroughly with water. Then. Pull off the bottom part and take off the petals. Pull off the anther and give the pistol a good rinse. Some of these trees are planted along the roadside so they can be really dusty. I got mine from that mini garden so it's actually quite clean. I used the brush for the second pistol because there was some dirt inside and I didn't want to dig them out and hurt the plant. Then dry with a paper towel and bring them out to the sun. We get really good sunlight on our balcony so it makes perfect spot for this. This was last week's flower, and this was how it dried up to become. And there I was just comparing the dried ones to the fresh ones. Then I went out after, and this was what I saw when I came back. I got a shock, and was so upset seeing the flowers all gone, to only find them lying around the ground a few seconds later. Well, at least 7 petals survived the strong winds. So spring in Guangzhou is at its end and sadly I didn't manage to go flower sighting this year. Guangzhou is also known as the flower city, so during springtime there's actually some very beautiful spots to catch some blooms. The dominant colors of spring here are yellow, orange from the cotton trees, pink and white. And I only managed to catch a glimpse mostly when I was on car rides. This was the only scene I caught while I was on my way to get a covid test in town. As you can see, there's nothing too impressive from my lens, so here's sharing what some other people got to experience. Let's hope I get to see some of these next spring. And oh, Hoping the cotton tree flower will taste good in the future soup that I cook. Bye!